Hello world! In this video, I will share my experience working with encryption systems, where there is a need to encrypt confidential message from the client to the backend application as depicted here in the diagram. Here we can see the customer POS and the encryption algorithms used, AES and RSA algorithms, plus how the data encrypted is decrypted in the backend side. I will also provide a Java project that have AES and RSA encryption utility classes. There are also classes that test the encryption algorithms for AES and RSA cipher. I also I'm also providing a unit test that will capture the diagram that we are presenting in this page. So let's begin. Let's first take a look at the encryption algorithms that were used, AES and RSA. AES is a successor to DEST. It's a subset of the Ryhandel block cipher. It's a symmetric key algorithm, which means we need the same key to encrypt and decrypt data. This algorithm is considered faster compared to RSA. RSA, one of the most widely used public private key crypto systems. It's an asymmetric key algorithm, which means we will use a public key to encrypt a text and private key to decrypt it. Now let's look at this diagram. This is our user story. We have our customer. A customer, for example, purchased something from a mer merchant store, let's say a laptop. He then enters his card and the POS terminal reads his confidential information. This information is encrypted using AES key. Remember, we will need, since AES encryption is symmetric, which means we will use the same key in encrypting this information and when we decrypt it, we will use the same key. So, there is a need to send the AES key. And in that regard, we will use the RSA encryption algorithm to encrypt the AES key. Now, the encrypted information plus the encrypted AES key are then saved into a single request object and sent over the internet. Upon receive the payment gateway side, we get the encrypted AES key and decrypt it using the RSA algorithm. So now we are using the RSA private key here which should be the pair of the RSA public key in this side. So after the AES key is decrypted, we will use it to decrypt the private information which contains the payment details of the customer. The payment details are now decrypted and we can process the payment with the bank. So this plain message, this plain information can be sent to the acquirer or to the bank. Now let's try running our Java project to test the AES and RSA encryption. This uh, Java project will be available in the description box of this video. So we have the AES cipher class. We have both encrypt and decrypt. AES, remember, is a symmetric key algorithm. It can encrypt and decrypt data using the same cipher or using the same code and then we have the RSA cy cipher that encrypts and decrypts data using public and private key and then I also created another class which is the cipher key generator this one can generate a random AES secret key from a given string. It can also generate a pair of 
RSA keys, both public and private. Now, before we begin, we first need to run this class up that Java because this will generate an RSA key, a pair of RSA keys, which we will need in testing. So let's run this class. Be patient as this, as the key generation usually takes some time. After the class terminates from running, inside the project we should be able to see three files, which are the this should be the AES key. I think I misnamed it. So it's a randomly generated AES key. And then we have the RSA keys, both public and private. Now copy these RSA keys and paste them in the source test resources folder because our test cases, especially the RSA cipher test, will rely on this keys. Let's first inspect the AES cipher test. So I am using the JUnit uh, 5 Jupyter engine. Here I am initializing the secret key in the before all. I am using the cipher key generator utility class to generate an AES secret from this string. This is a randomized string that I generated using uh, an online generator. And then, here is my test case. You will notice that it has an input string. So I'm taking advantage of the JUnit parameterized test annotation where this test will take a list of input so this value source so i have an array or list of inputs that will be run in this test one by one so set so swiss stack will be encrypted decrypted using the same key and uh, the input and the decrypted decrypted input will be compared so if they are equal this test should run and then the same test is applied in the RSA cipher test. The difference is that in the before all method, I have initialized both the public, the RSA public and private keys from the source test resources RSA keys file. So this is where we are using those uh, public and private keys. Once initialized, we can use this public and private key when encrypting and decrypting a text. Again, this test is using parameterized test annotation to apply or to run tests on a list of strings. So one by one, again, these strings will be encrypted and decrypted and compared at the end. And finally, let's take a look at the encryption used case test which will test our diagram so again we have before all annotation where we initialize the AES secret key and initialize both the RSA public and private keys now remember again we will be encrypting the message using AES and we will encrypt the AES key using the RSA algorithm. So first, we know the secret key, which is this text. We will encrypt it using the RSA algorithm. And this is our plain message. Usually it contains confidential information, such as PAN or personal account number, or PIN maybe, personal identification number of the customer's payment card and then we will encrypt the plain message using AES algorithm so now we have the encrypted message and the encrypted RSA key we then need to set them in a request body object so it depends on your requirement and then on the server side once this message is received first we will decrypt 
the AES encrypted key using the RSA algorithm. So here I, I am using the private key, which is a pair of this public key that we initialize here. So this one is initialized using the public key and here we will decrypt the cipher using the private key. Once the decrypted, once the AES encrypted key is decrypted, we can now use this key to decrypt the message. I'm using a message digest. When generating the secret key, actually there's another algorithm or method that we can use, generate a secret key, which is using the secret factory. But in my Windows, this class is not available on OpenJDK 11. I think it's available on Ubuntu. If you're running on Ubuntu, you may use this method. And then once we have the the AES, the decrypted secret key, we can now decrypt the message using the AES cipher, which we are doing here. So now that we are done with the use cases, let's try running our application using Maven. Maven test. And all should be well. As we can see here, all our tests run. So we have 14, 2, and 1. This is the one from encryption use case. AES cipher test, we have 14. And this RSA cipher test, we have 14. Why? Because here we have 14, 14 strings. As I said earlier, these strings will be encrypted and decrypted and compared one by one. That's why we have 14 test run in this uh, test AES cipher test and RSA cipher test. I hope you learned something from my video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you will receive notification when I upload new programming related videos and maybe how to work at home. Goodbye and see you in the next video.